photo glow up situations. So again, just taking uh, photos and making them the best that they can be uh, is the goal. So um, yeah, life model decoy. Uh, all right, Bliss, I'm good to have you here. Oh, Bliss, did you change your name? Are you formerly, formerly Golden Rose? That's fascinating. Uh, so yeah, it's good that you guys are here. Um, so yeah, I got a couple of things I'm gonna work on. This is all about sort of taking photos to the next level, cleaning up a lot of things. This honestly centers a lot around uh, a couple things happening. Of course, spring is here, which is awesome because we have a visual trend that feels like spring. So um, basically uh, Adobe Stock actually is highlighting this uh, this wonderful uh, next theme for May is all about a breath of fresh air, right? But also what's coming up is Mother's Day. So we have a couple different reasons to do like a glow up and really make things pop uh, for uh, these various reasons. So uh, thanks so much for joining me wherever you may be. Hello. There we go. Cool. Uh, and again, that's what we want to do is we really want to take things to the next level. I also want to show you, um, uh, yeah, bliss was so random when, uh, yeah, you're so random in making your, yeah, that's an understatement. Almost got me all choked up. That's hilarious. Okay. So I think this is awesome. I was just talking about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Adobe stock and, uh, this spring trend that we're all feeling because we all just can't wait to get out of the house. Uh, also, um, just want to actually pause for a moment uh, and send our wishes and prayers uh, to India. I know it's been tough there uh, the past couple weeks. So again, just in res out of respect for them as well. Um, but yeah, we are optimists. I think things are going to look up and let's dive into this. Uh, if you go to stock.adobe.com, right, right in here, you can go down here, <clears throat> select free, okay, and then you can just hit enter, right, and that will bring up all of these photos, and this is what I want to point this out, I tweeted this out last night, but there's 67,000 photos available for free uh, on Adobe Stock, which is just crazy, so, um, yeah, like, how is how are we making any money if we're giving away so many photos? It's just insane, okay? Uh, so 67,000 results in free right up here. We could just type in spring or summer. Let's do, uh, let's type in summer because we'll get some fun summer designs. And what we could do is we can go from there and grab a couple of these fun images. Like this is very summery. This is very summery, right? We could use some of these. Uh, am I even logged in? Yes, I am logged in. All right. So like this is a great one, right? So we could always take that, um, license it. So it does say license, but it also says free right there. So you can put that right into our account. All right. Uh, let's, since we have Mother's Day coming up, let's do flowers. You guys know I love a good flower. Annika, thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I've done AI, the Illustrator uh, Daily Creative Challenges. I love these colors. We're talking about photo glow up. These are awesome. Uh, let's license these. When we license them, <clears throat> excuse me, we want to keep a couple things in mind because it's saving to uh, this a default library, Adobe 2020 brand. So you want to be able to manage those. We can move that to holidays or miscellaneous or nature. Okay, so moving that to nature. Being aware of what uh, I'm logged in at. Um, if you're me, you might have a, like a couple different accounts, some for testing. So you want to be able to make sure you go into libraries. Or actually, no, not even libraries. R check this out, by the way. Um, how, how are you guys doing, huh? It's good to see you. I swear, when I don't stream for a couple days i'm like how the heck is everybody doing All right, that's what i want to know so we can see these icons need to match up Zoop. right usually the most people have issues when when they're logged in and someone else like they created a sort of a temp account who knows what but this is the common reason why they don't see things in their libraries so we can see that's synced up i can go to 2020 brand which is actually where it put it initially 
and we could see a couple of those. There's that one there. Cool thing is, is we could always take that and move it. So right click, move to down here. Let's move it to nature, just not grouped. Okay, so there you have it. All right, how are you guys? Sean, happy Friday to everybody. I'm so glad you guys are here. I had quite a morning and I'm just glad to, it's a good day to be alive. Look at this lovely floral background. Guess what, it's free as well. License that, right? Being mindful of where it puts it. It's now putting it in the nature library. Perfect. Let's do our thing. License, guess what? There's 67,000, right? Do we need more? Hmm, maybe, I don't know. But I'm grabbing what I can. You know, I love a good flower. I love these flowers. Uh, and that's what we'll start to use for our lovely uh, photo glow up. Even these are awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Look at that. Ah, I need about 20 more coffees. Let's do it. All right, Toronto's under stay at home orders. I did not know that. I did not know that everyone. There we go. Just syncing up some of these. There we go. There we go. You would be uh, surprised uh, to find out how many people don't use libraries. And it's fine, but that's how I keep everything, okay? From there, notice I, I can keep my, I can sort by images. I can also go into, say, vectors or photos. So since this is a Photoshop uh, live stream, I wanna make sure I'm grabbing some of these as well. And I've already have, by the way, okay? Let's fill it up with images. There we go. All right, so what I'm gonna make, and this gives you a whole week just to think about this, um, but we have Mother's Day coming up May 9th. So you have, geez, you have nine days to put this together, right? So that's why I didn't wanna wait on this stream to do it uh, next week, but we're just doing a glow up. You know who needs a good glow up is, hey, your mom, why not? Call me a mama's boy, whatever, doesn't matter. But here I have a bunch of photos. By the way, all of my photos right in here. Yeah, you guys know how it works. Uh, flowers and plants, all this awesome stuff, and all the photos that I've synced up are right in here too, okay? Little teaser for you guys as well. Uh, ooh, pa uh, please check out, oh, thank you so much. Don yes, thank you for, Wade's coming through. I appreciate it, Wade. Uh, coming through talking about, um, you know, Kyle Webster has some brushes to support India, which I've been thinking about that. I'm like, am I too late to like do anything? Like, can I like sell an NFT or something like that? Uh, but I've also gotten a lot of questions on this this week. So when we're talking about sort of a photo glow up or to really take a photo to the next level for your mom or whoever, think about adding motion to it. So, um, you know, th this I posted earlier this week. And I've gotten lots of questions on like, how would you put something like this together? Yes, a little morbid, not really following our summer theme, but we have others that we can work with. And I could always take a second and we can sort of talk about how you can animate those flowers um, as well. So, so there's that idea that I'd be happy to share with you guys. Man, that's freaking cool. That's a photo glow up if I ever saw one, even though it's she's kind of split down the middle. That's okay. It's just showing, man, you know what? We're all we're all full of good things, man. Let it out. It's okay. All right. Subject matter. Boom. Let's go in here. <laughs> Help us all, right? Um, we have, of course, lovely family photos. I set up shortcuts, right? So if we could see right in here, uh, we, I've actually set up a couple shortcuts where I always consolidate all to tabs and then I tile everything. So I'm able to toggle through all my images by using these shortcuts. So set up your own shortcuts because that's what I end up doing, right? Command, it's control option, command T, there we are. And then I can start bringing some of these together, bam. I don't know which photo is gonna be best. I could just pick one now. Uh, mm, mm, mm. 
They all look about the same. There we go. Okay, got it. Boom, close that. Close that. Don't mind me. Hope it's okay, because chances are you do have a picture of a loved one. Doesn't have to be your mom, could be anything. Um, so yeah, looks like puppet and null objects. John, surprisingly enough, I should be using more null objects and I don't. I don't use null, I like, I kind of like, I mean, I, I, yeah, I just haven't really got into it and I should because I think a null object, I don't know, could help me out. Anyway, so you have this photo, you have these other photos, right, that we're all gonna bring together and make something awesome with. All right, does that sound good? I'm seeing what these other photos are, by the way. Let's get rid of that one. And uh, let's take a couple looks at these. So we're gonna, we're gonna do some glow ups with some of these photos. We'll take this one, for instance, easy thing you can do. And uh, we will try this. It won't be perfect, but we'll give it a go because it's so easy. Uh, we're gonna go right up here into neural filters. Yeah, I do it all manually. Um, yep. And that is my mom. And these are, actually, this is me right here. As a little boy, geez, I was probably maybe five or something. Like platinum blonde hair, just so blonde. Um, there's my older sister. There's my cousin, cousin, cousin. My older brother, my other cousin, Aaron, right? It recognizes all these people. So I could do some fun things now that it's recognized those people. But what I want to do uh, is I want to go into the beta filters, right? And right in here, we want to go to colorize. And we're just going to see what happens. It's not going to do it perfect. I picked one of the more complex scenarios. It goes through and it colorizes it, right? So again, here's your before off to the side, and then here's your after right? Mm, it does an okay job, right? I can go with that if I want to, right? I can actually turn on others. So I can do a style transfer if I want to as well, right? In here, style transfer, go to show more. And again, just click on what you want and see those different style transfers. I tend to like this tattoo one, but it does, you know, brings a whole new look to this, which we'll go with. Paul looks like he's up to something. Uh, I was never up to anything, by the way. I was like a good kid. We're talking middle child. I didn't. Last thing I wanted to do is cause any trouble whatsoever. I was just like, I don't want to bring chaos to. I'm, you know, one of five. Last thing I want to do is bring chaos to my family. So uh, that was my situation. Okay. So again, a drastic difference. Boom, da boom. You guys get the idea. Roz, what's up? Rosbury, I see you over there. Uh, go to Beyonce.net forward slash W Live. Here's uh, this initial photo. So I could take that. I could use that as part of my composition, right? Take that one. We're going to combine a lot of these. In fact, I've already done that a little bit right over. Wait for it. Right in here. A bunch of these photos are already set up. And we can go ahead and paste in this one. Make it a smart object. Because if I want to scale it down and then scale it back up, I have that ability, right? So again, we can adjust that accordingly. Like that. There we go. There we have this photo. Cool. I was not a, I was a, I was such a good kid. I swear to you. Of course, maybe that's what a bad kid would say. <laughs> that's exactly what a bad kid would say is that they were a good kid. Okay, let's go to this. I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to drop it into here. Boom. So now we have two layers within, and it would help if I name some of these files within this guy. So we'll double click and we can toggle from the one that has uh, all that color and effects to it and the original. And the great thing is, is we could start to blend the two if we want to as well. So we might get some interesting compositions. Like this is fun seeing that cast light. So it's a mixture of those two, the style transfer and the, just the original photo. Does, what does a photo glow up actually mean? You know, just make it pop. 
That's it was a different way to say make it pop. <laughs> That's what I meant. But if you look at the description, it talks all about uh, using layers, solid colors. We could use patterns to make a composition. I have a whole other design that I uh, was working with, but adjustment layers. Uh, and color lookup tables I thought would be appropriate. So there that is, I'll close that. Let's do a Command T. Take a look at some of these other ones which we could work with. And I wanna thank you all for joining me this wonderful Friday. I'm bringing them all into one file. And let's even get rid of that one. Don't need that anymore. There we are. Everything's in one. Good to go. How's this as well for a family photo, right? Now, I know Terry White does a lot of photography, so I don't I want to work more on composition and um, you know, sort of pushing the design aesthetic of this rather than doing all the touch up. Right, but we can go in and we can we can dive in and do touch up if we want to. As we see right here, again, I typically just select the lovely uh, band aid right there. We can start to get rid of all those little dots and things that we see. Okay, pretty easy. As we just kind of clean this up a little bit. Another way of doing this. Uh, yeah, look at look at this. Look at this fancy. Look at that good looking family. And what the heck are we all looking at? And why did the photographer take this photo in the first place? Why? I don't know. He's like, hey, they're all looking <laughs> that direction. Snap. That might have been the style back in the day, to be honest with you. So what this is doing is it's sampling from other parts of the photo, but we don't know where. Let's turn this into a smart object. Let's go into camera raw filter, right? So right in here, First thing I want to do maybe is you want an auto button just to make things look better right in here. Click auto, right? And it was just too vibrant. It was just almost too much. We we're losing some color because uh, there was too much brightness on it, right? So just hit that auto button and that normalizes it a lot better. And notice how it tones down the highlights and makes the blacks darker, things like that. I love old photographs too. Isn't it fun to play with these? So right in here, if we take a look, we can say, hey, you know what? We want to patch this up. We'll go over here. We'll take the Band-Aid in here. Lovely Band-Aid. And now we can go ahead and say, click and drag there, and we can control where it samples from, okay? So this is, again, going to give you more control since we can define where it's sampling from. Uh, and we could even change it sort of after the fact, right? We can move that around. We can move this one around, right? So this is going to give you the most control when it comes to, um, you know, doing any uh, content aware fill technology, basically. <sighs> oh, what's funny about this is why, like, there, there, let's see, there's my, there's Tiffany, there's me, Ryan, there's Ronnie, and my mom and dad. Hmm. So touching. So this is a smart object, shrink that down. Move that into place. Make that happen. Here's my mom. <laughs> Which I will take this, turn this into a smart object because I wanna keep the quality at all times, right? So now it's a big smart object, but I can shrink it down and bring it into place. This is when she's 71, so this is back in uh, January. Cool. I wish I could pull off that jacket too. Look at my mom this look at look at it, look at how awesome this is. Like what a cool jacket that she has. Right? So we can do the same thing, right? We can go into uh, camera raw filter. And a lot of times we just kind of want to maybe just remove or soften the skin tones. We can start to adjust some of that. So off to the side, we can go down to texture and clarity. So let's just change these a little bit. We could maybe make it take down the clarity or take down the texture 
and that might be an easy way just to kind of smooth out the tones. Now we're not gonna get rid of any wrinkles cause hey, that's my mom. But just like lighting changes the shadow of a wrinkle, that's basically what we're doing here. So we're just adding a little bit like so, uh, and then we can go from there, all right? We can brighten up her eyes too. Uh, so right over here, radial filter, right in here, boom, like that. And what this does is this adds a radial filter and I'm adjusting the brightness, right? So I could just kind of brighten up her eyes, maybe by increasing the exposure or the contrast. The whole goal is just to make her eyes pop. It will keep those settings as I move over to those others. Command J will hide, right? There we go. So you'll sometimes do that with the eyes. You'll do that with uh, the teeth to kind of just brighten them up a touch, right? And that's the idea. Um, it's still a little, a little too much. Like, again, I, I, I'm gonna err on the side of doing less in here, to be honest with you. Click okay, there we are. Right, we just made her pop a little bit. A little photo glow up for my mom or your mom, right? And we'll go ahead and crop this like so. I'm gonna create a mask right in here. Selecting like so. Down at the bottom here, we'll go ahead and make a mask. Shablam. All right, how you guys doing? Oh yeah, happy to happy to share family photos with you guys. Again, this is sort of a long lines. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this glow up. We're gonna make it like springtime, and we're kind of making basically a Mother's Day card. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Not we're kind of we are. Okay, so let's take this. Let's scale it down. A, a lot of times, if you try to resize, you're resizing um, corners are way, you know, way off. I, I actually just gonna jump in here. I'm gonna do like say 40%, boom, right? But you could always do Command Zero. But now I can just kind of position it like so. And again, we have our other photos in here. So of all these photos that we need to glow up. Oh, Megan, you like this? Oh, good. Good, good, good. These are hilarious though, by the way, like some of these, <laughs> oh, make me laugh. And they all need to be, they all need some pop. They all need some pop. Uh, all right, so let's move in, uh, move, move on to something else. Um, because what I really wanna do Take a look right over here. This lovely photo. Let me turn off everything else. So if you hold down option and you click on a layer, it will hide everything else. And then I can take a look at this photo and work on it some. Um, geez, this is, this is, uh, let's just take this. Let's kind of straighten this out. Come on, Jay. Go in here, let's just fill this content aware fill. Cause I just want, I just want this like um, photo background. That's all I'm doing, right? Cause we need it for this photo right up here. My mom has this crazy look in her eyes and I don't know why she's like that. <laughs> she is not crazy at all. <laughs> but there we go. We could just kind of frame it up. Okay. All right. There we have the photo frame. We have the photo. We can combine both of those into their own smart object. Shablam. There we are. Drop shadow. Right? I already have these drop shadows on these other photos. It's like, hey, I want to use those same drop shadows, right? Hey, let's just go over here. Just grab it. Option key, drag it up to this one right here. Boom, and it adds that drop shadow, as you can see. We'll just, oops, up to this one. There we go. Shrink it down. That's really interesting that it made it that large. All right, there we have it. All right, 
Well, I'm glad you think it looks good. It, it almost kind of doesn't have a lot of consistency. Some of these photos need like a lot more pop like this one does, right? Um, and again, what you can do is you can jump in and use that magic button in uh, camera raw filter. Just make sure it's a smart object filter, camera raw filter, right? For this one, like so, hit auto. And <clears throat> we'll just play with the exposure, contrast. It, it really didn't do a whole lot. When I hit auto, it did not do a whole lot. But if you're playing with this, you're like, oh, I'm gonna increase the contrast. Uh, and you mess it up, to be honest with you, like, yeah, and this would be darker. It's too dark. You could always have the option of turning off of this eyeball right here. So you could like, oh, what did it look like originally? And then what does it look like after I made my mess sort of thing? Uh, but again, we're just kind of punching this up a little bit. And it's kind of like your before and after, right? So we just needed to give it a little bit of pop click. Okay. All right. All right. Yes, and uh, yeah, happy birthday to Tim. It is Tim's birthday. I, is it today, Tim? I'm so sorry. Tim, mo best. There is none better. Uh, it is his birthday. I think, is it today or was it yesterday? Please correct me. Um, but uh, I wanna wish you a happy birthday. Another thing you could do, rather than going into photo filter each time you have adjustment layers. So what you can do is you can go into levels and I'm showing you where all the easy buttons are. Levels, bam, there it is. We want it just clipped to this layer. So option key, click, bam. It's just gonna affect this one, kind of balancing baby. I don't know why parents insist on doing this, <laughs> but they do. Right up here for uh, levels, there's our auto. Clicking on auto and it punches it up a little bit as you can see, right? So again, before, after, and then we can adjust from there, right? So we're just brightening it up a little bit. All right, you guys get the idea. Tim, talk to me, buddy. Oh wait, it's Megan's birthday too. Happy birthday, Megan. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Megan and Tim. I wanna wish you a happy birthday. Right, so that's what you wanna do. You wanna look for these easy buttons um, at the end of the day, just making things, of course, easy on you. So that's what I always look for, the auto buttons. Click, boom, done. Let's move on. Let's throw a fun background back there, right? Maybe it should be fun. Maybe it could just be something pretty standard. We'll go down here and we will add, say for instance, a solid color and we could always change that to a gradient as well. So solid color. Check in the time, I have about 30 minutes, right? So here we go, we could go with a hot pink to kind of mix it up. Take this photo, this one is like, my mom's like has a psycho look in her eyes. It's killing me. Right, there we go, boom, boom, boom. We have this one, we have this photo, we have this photo, right? Again, just making them all pop, they all have lovely uh, background. All right. All right, so let's do this now. Um, this is pretty large. I'm gonna save this just to my desktop. <laughs> Call it Mother's Day. And uh, I'm gonna work on the, I think I'm gonna work on the layout a little bit more. <sighs> I haven't fully decided on the format or the size of this, you know, cause I'd like for it to be a four by three. So canvas size, inches, 
uh, if we do we do a five by seven, so seven, five, click OK. There we are. Better format. I'm into it. All right. I'm making all these smart objects. And uh, I have all sorts of, uh, whew. all sorts of photos in here. Give me a second as I add a frame to this one. Let's make it happen. Make it happen. Again, hopefully you guys are learning something. I know I'm like, when I'm not showing you something, I'm typically learning from chat. So I definitely want to thank you guys for that. As I just line this up. Yeah, I guess what? This is one of those tedious processes. It's not too bad, but let me just bring that in like so. There we go. Boom. Has a frame. Boom. All right. So many birthdays. Bliss, oh, tomorrow it's Bliss's birthday. Hmm, man, that's cool. Welcome. All right, this one seems to be a little, still a little dark. So we can always go into camera raw filter and uh, punch it up a little bit more. And Take down the vibrance. It's just, it's just popping a little bit too much. Here we go. Close it. There it is. Cool. Cool. We have all these photos we get to deal with. Right? We're going to add some text to this, and we're going to have some fun. All right. Easy tip. Um, command key, open and closing brackets brings your layer up and down. So just by holding down the command key or control key, if you're on a PC, you could start to juggle the, um, the sorting order, um, the, the depth. If you hold down the shift key, since I have so many layers, hold down the shift and command, and then do a closing bracket. It moves it right to the top, right to the bottom, right to the top, right to the bottom. Okay, so use that a lot since I'm doing lots of compositions. Bring it to the top, but damn, there we go. Boom, shabam, right, there it is. All right, we're getting somewhere, folks. Oh yeah, I, 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 so this is another thing. So this is why I'm so glad I made this a smart object. We're gonna double click right in here. She still has this crazy look. I can double click on that. This is the original. Okay, so if I decide I want to swap it out, thank goodness it's a smart object. We can go to uh, like one of the original photos. Let's just see if we could find. Okay, so maybe this one might be a little bit better. Open it up, copy, paste, move her into position. The reason I'm lining up her eyes is because I have that smart object and I have a, um, uh, the camera raw filter associated with it. There we go. I'm going to, I'm going to show you what we can animate. We can anim animate so many things. I'm going to bust through this so fast guys. I, I think that's a great idea because I have after effects. So Let's just get to work, people. Let's make things happen, right? I have all these gorgeous flowers. Remember, we could use a lot of these. We could drop on, yeah, this one if we want to, right? We could play with this. What do we want to do? I want to rasterize that layer. I want to just remove the background, right? Boom, flower, done. All those other assets, remember, they're all free. It's so great. This one, why not? Boom, done. 
Uh, this one. There it is. Sure, why not? Yeah, I rasterized it. Yeah, I just removed the background. But we could have some fun. I'm kind of mixing illustrations with real photos. Which again, I'm not a huge fan of. But that's okay. I might actually go with this illustration look. But man, this is it's going to be awesome. I still have a lot of that white there. Am I going to spend all this time cutting it out? Nah, I'm too lazy for that. I'm going to go down here to say darken or multiply. So my goal would be to use one of those or even darker color. Maybe it gets us there. Maybe not. Yeah, I might just have to clean this up, huh? <laughs> All right, let's go back in. Okay, fine. Let's do this. Get rid of the white. There we are. Select color range, selecting the white. It does it for all of the layers. I really wish it does. It wouldn't do that. And, um, but it does. Click OK. There we go. Boom. That's looking good now. And we can start to work these flowers in. OK, so that's the goal. A uh, key thing here is that I'm going to be playing with a lot of this in After Effects. If you guys want to go there, uh, boom, happy Mother's Day. Boom, boom, shaboom. There we are. Right? And we can play with this layout all we want. But I'm not going to be too concerned about the layout. Um if I'm going to be animating this anyways. But let, let me get let me just get something decent going here. Too much is too much is going on. Too many photos. Ah. Work it, work it, work it. Work your magic. Here, we're cutting off this baby's head, right? Play with that depth. And this is my life. Dealing with... All of these layers. Command click will automatically select a, um, there we go, it's a little better. Will automatically select what you click on. It's looking a little crowded. Okay. Okay, so I see that in there. Uh, Norse, you want to look at scanning old photos? You could do that just so you know. So two, two things. At Costco, again, this in the U.S., I don't know. They typically have a machine that will scan photos for you. You, you bring them in, a whole stack, you drop it in there, it'll scan them all to CD-ROM for you. That machine is typically broken for about 150 bucks, at least last time I checked. You can get a photo scanner. Literally, you just buy a photo scanner for 150 bucks, and then you go through all your family photos, which is exactly what I've been doing, right? Okay, everyone. Let's regroup my brain.
and let's work on this some more. It's just too crowded. And the color is all over the place. So you know what I'm gonna do now? <sighs> let's see if this works. You ready for this? Um, let's take all these photos, put them into one folder called photos. Uh, and then I could go ahead and just throw on a black and white adjustment layer and clip it just to that photo. This already looks better, right? So the fact that I made all the photos black and white, I'm, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like black and white or do you like color? I'm, I'm kind of torn to be honest with you. And I, I don't even know if I'm really happy with the whole composition just yet. So let me know if you like black and white or not. I'm torn. Okay, you ready for this? We'll keep them color for now, but I wanna know if you guys like black and white or not. Afroja likes the black. Okay, Marsha likes the color. Okay, well, let's just do this. Uh, ungroup layers. Boom. Here's everything. This is what I do. Photo. Check this out. You want to rename things? D hit the tab key and it'll automatically, as long as that you have that field uh, highlighted, just hit the tab key so you can go on down. Boom. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make much sense to um, name everything photo, but as I hit tab, <clears throat> you know, I typically add two, three, Four, things like that. Just a quick way to name all your layers. Okay. There we have that done. Mother's Day is set up. Let's check the image size. Uh, 1680 by 1200. Since I'm going to make this an animation, I might produce this for, say, Instagram. So I'll do 1080. Oops, not right now, actually. Uh, 1350. Cancel. Sorry, everyone. I got to get the size right. 1080, oh, so, sorry, 1080, 1350, boom, right? It's going to make it much smaller. We have an entirely different format. Help us all, right? But now we can start playing with all of these photos. And am I going to get it all done today? Probably not, right? But all these photos are going to kind of slide in and out, and we're going to create a fun animation that way. So with that saved, we'll save this as... We'll just save this as mom. I like to keep these names short. I'll show you why in After Effects on my desktop. We'll do Mother's Day, boom. Save it there, boom, done. Now let's make this happen in good old After Effects. All right, rather than starting from scratch, we can go out here to that photo right in here, drag it into your project panel, and it's going to load it in. We want to import this as a composition retain layer sizes. Okay. You can move merge layer styles into footage or make it editable. I typically keep it editable. But these are the settings that you want. Retain layer sizes, editable layer styles. Click OK. Everything comes through. Double click. Boom. There we are. And here we have our lovely timeline. From here, we work backwards. So I'll scrub down. I'll scrub to... I typically work with the final frame and then I animate to it. So, okay, Annika has a great idea. Uh, like go from black and white to color. Oh, oh, I love it. That's what I love. We have this opportunity to do so many cool things. Uh, and yeah, so here they all are. We can select any one of these photos. We can move them around. Right, and maybe what they do is they reveal 
I think they should all kind of come in. They can slide in and slide out. We can make it a looping animation. Uh, we could do a number of things, but let's just kind of start on this. Let's take, we'll, we'll actually take these other photos. And this is what I would do. Scrub in about seven seconds. Select all these photos. Hit position. So this is how you animate everything at once. Hit position. Boom. Click on the stopwatch. We've added all these keyframes. So we have them in kind of their final position. Right? But I'll do this a couple, thing, couple of ways. I know I need to rotate it. So hit R for rotation. Boom. Hit that. And then hit U. You ready for this? We're going to hit U. And then it's going to bring up all of our keyframes. So I'm animating the position and rotation. Now I can go to the first frame and have some fun. Bam, zoop, move that off. Rotate it, R, zoop, rotate it. This one, move that one over here, move that one over there. You know, I'm just kind of having fun now. Zoop, zoop, zoop. Zip, rotate. Rot Zip. You get the idea. You don't need the sound effects. Let's take this. Yeah. This one. This one off to the side. All right. So again, we have our start. Now remember, I didn't add rotation to everything, but that's okay. Maybe I will. And again, I get it. This says Photoshop master class. We are doing Photoshop, but this is a glow up. Like we're taking things to the next level by not only making those photos pop, but adding some motion to it because you want to be able to post to say Instagram or story or to Facebook. Um, all these lovely photos. So let's go ahead and hit enter. We can see everything slide in. This is typically happens with my stuff. It's like it starts off really slow. Oh, look at how it just kind of gh. Oh, it's not good, man. Needs to ease in. So select all those keyframes. This is the best thing you can do as a designer. Uh, select ease in. You could even do ease in and ease out, right? Or you could just do easy ease, which does both. Right, boom. I do easy ease, right? Because if I animate it out, I want it to start slow and then uh, animate out faster. All right, timing is all off. Let's just do this, everybody. I don't got time to mess around. There's no time. Let's have fun with just like moving this stuff, moving it, moving it. Moving it, moving it, moving it. Adjusting the speed and pace at which they come in, right? Trying to make something interesting here, right? Just kind of doing it randomly, semi-randomly. Now let's go ahead and hit enter. It still goes awfully slow. You ready for this? Well, I better not do that. You guys have any questions today? How's life treating you, huh? Easy ease. I, Jerry, I always think of easy e. Every time I even like say it, I'm like, oh yeah, easy ease. <laughs> So here we go, I'll select this photo, because that's the first one to come in, right? This one, and I don't even see her fully, right? So we could animate these all in and out. There we go, look at that funny baby. But this is where you just start to tweak a lot of this. Let's hit enter. See everything kind of slide in. That's pretty straightforward. This one goes really slow. And there you have it. Why did that F9 not work? F9. F9. 
Okay, cool. You guys get the idea. Sweet. Oh, I needed to do shift F9. Thank you. Thank you, Wade. All right, cool. Here's another pro tip. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this really fast. We're gonna right click on this. We're gonna add this to a new comp from selection. So now we have the second comp, right? So there's a comp inside of a comp. This is what I could do. I could take this one, I could duplicate it. I could take this comp and I can reverse it. So this is just to kind of broaden your horizons. We could do a time reverse layer. So I'm gonna time reverse that layer, boom. We've reversed it, right? And now it's gonna animate out. It should animate out like so. All right, and we'll chop it like so. Turn that on. Now we have it animating in and then animating out. Cool. You guys get the idea? I'm down in my last couple of minutes. I want to get back into Photoshop and show you how to update this stuff. It's so slow. Cool thing is, is I can go to this first one right here. I can see that everything, that last one is being kind of funny. Oh, where is it? Select all, hit U. There it is. Oh, I didn't grab that keyframe. We fixed it now. It all goes for eight seconds. And uh, there you have it. Animates in and then animates back out and we're done. Okay, cool. We've done our animation. And it didn't take us that long and we made it look fantastic. Cool. Yeah, there you go, Chris. Good to see you, man. Uh, just kind of show you a finished project, what a finished project looks like. Here we have these uh, lovely hands that I showed you earlier. We'll give it a chance to load up. All came from Photoshop, right? We could see everything kind of start to come together slowly. Come on, buddy. Welcome to rendering, huh? Let's drop the quality down. And this is my hands final. We need to go into these hands here and you can see what this stuff starts to look like. It's going to be a mess. Hit the tilde key. Bam. And uh, we can see the hands. Oh, I have individual hands that have the animation inside of them. How is this done? This is all done with puppet warp typically uh, or distort or liquify. So anyone under the uh, distort menu right over here, right? This is where, uh, what effects I would use on something like this. Uh, we're kind of out of my last minute and I apologize. I did not get to all of this uh, fully, but such is life. I tried to do too much. Hopefully you guys are happy what we created. We not only created an animation, but we have uh, sort of our photos that we all worked on and you got to know my family a little bit, which is kind of nice. So uh, yeah, Jason's up next. Thank you so much for that, Wade. And Jason's going to do something awesome. I don't even need to look at what he's going to do. It's going to be amazing, I'm sure. Um, but he's going to be doing editing and mixing with Monogram uh, Creative Console, which will be cool. So get started on that Mother's Day card. And don't forget about all the amazing free stuff that you can work with off of Adobe Stock. Um, yep, you got it. Thanks so much, everybody. Steve and everyone, it's good to see you. I'm going to be on vacation till next Friday, so I will see you guys then. Okay, so uh, you can always reach me online because chances are I'll be checking social media randomly. But uh, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the one and only Jason and Levine. Thanks so much, everybody.